On today's Star Wars Legends lore video, we break down the Battle of Coruscant. Hey guys, this is Eckhart Slaughter. Hello and welcome to another quick Star Wars Legends lore video. Today, we'll be talking about one of the most famous and important battles in Star Wars history, the Space Battle of Coruscant. Specifically today, we are going to try to find out just how many ships participated in the battle, both on the Separatist and the Republic side. Coruscant was the center of government, culture, and commerce for the Old Republic. The attack was an incredibly important moment of the war. Not only was a giant Separatist fleet driven back by Republic forces, but Separatist head of state Count Dooku was also killed. The basic timeline of the attack goes like this. The Separatists appear, they destroy much of the stationed Republic fleet right away, and they snatch Palpatine from the planet's surface. Fighting on the planet stops, the Separatists retreat to space, and General Grievous announces to the entire Republic that Palpatine's been kidnapped. This is, of course, all a ploy by the Chancellor himself. Republic reinforcements arrive, including not only the Open Circle Fleet, commanded by Jedi Generals Obi-Wan and Anakin Skywalker, but also a vast amount of newly constructed secret warships that the Republic had never seen before. Eventually, the Republic would prevail and the Separatist forces would retreat away from the planet. The way the conflict is portrayed in Revenge of the Sith does not at all show the scope that the later Expanded Universe material has implied. We see perhaps hundreds of ships, but as we'll later discover, that would only have been a portion of the Republic or Confederate fleets. I think the old Clone War show actually does a better job of showing the size of the forces at play, and it's really a lot of fun, so I recommend you guys check that out if you haven't already. Let's first take a look at how the Expanded Universe portrayed the Republic forces so we can get an idea of a sense of scale. First off, various sources have talked about how the surprise attack on Coruscant took the Republic Navy by surprise. A good portion of the Republic's defense fleet was lost, however over a thousand Venators actually survived the initial attack, which I think should give you a fairly good idea of just how large the home defense fleet was. Aside from Venators, the Republic also made use of smaller ships like Dreadnoughts and Carrick class cruisers, as well as countless thousands of fighters. However, the surviving original defense force would only be a very small part of the Republic's strength at this battle. Most of it would come from reinforcements. We learn a lot about the Republic's reinforcements in Order 66, a Republic Commando novel by Karen Travis. One of the key quotes is as follows, A seething mass of warships spread in a massive formation, converging on Coruscant. There must have been a couple of thousand, and that was just the ones that could see with the Mark I eyeball from the viewplate. Big ships. What's interesting is that the Republic commandos who witnessed this fleet don't actually recognize most of the ships. One clone thinks this fleet was the good guys, and says we seem to have acquired a new box of warships. Maybe it's our birthday and we forgot. Another says Sergeant Cal was right. Palps really did have a secret army and fleet up his sleeve. These events show that the attack on Coruscant was really just a ploy by Palpatine to further militarize the Republic. He struck fear into the hearts of the citizens of the galaxy, showed that the Republic was relatively vulnerable and the only thing that could save them was military might. One clone recognizes this but doesn't really realize it, saying that with these ships, we could have had a much easier war up to this point. So many New Republic ships reinforce Coruscant that the holonet and communication on the planet actually fails. One clone realizes that thousands of new ships have appeared overnight. The sheer scale of the new fleet created by Palpatine is actually alluded to earlier in the book as several characters try to decipher extremely high defense spending numbers. So between Palpatine's secret fleet, the Coruscant defense fleet which was already stationed on the planet and which was whittled down to a thousand ships, and the likely convergence of Republic fleets around the galaxy, including the Open Circle fleet, there was likely five to 10,000 Republic ships at this battle. Unfortunately, we know far less about the Separatist forces. Part of this is because we usually hear the stories from the Republic side, and really, there's a lot less focus on the military might of the CIS. We do, however, have the following quote from the Revenge of the Sith Incredible Cross-Sections book. It says, While vast campaigns detained millions of Separatist warships in the Outer Rim, a few dozen battleships led thousands of destroyers and frigates in a bold strike on the galactic capital Coruscant. We know that the CIS fleet was enough to overwhelm the few thousand defense ships that were at Coruscant originally, and that when fighting the Republic in space, the Separatists relied on overwhelming force, usually having three to five times as many ships as the Republic. So the total Separatist forces likely equaled around that of the Republic, five to 10,000 ships. 
I should note that when it says a few dozen battleships, I think that's referring exclusively to the Lucre Hulk, not to the Providence capital ships. Remember that those are typically referred to as destroyers, so it can still fall in the latter category. Looking at the paragraph like this allows us to square the representations of the battle within this book and the Clone Wars animated TV show. So, in total, I believe that there were over 10,000 ships at this battle. Obviously, only some of the conflict was shown in the movie, with the expanded universe filling in the rest of the gaps, as it usually does. You can believe these numbers if you'd like, obviously none of this is canon anymore, and really sometimes the Star Wars Expanded Universe did exaggerate numbers, really all I've shown here is that there's a basis for the conflict being this size. But I would like to know what you think, let me know down in the comments and also vote in the upper right hand corner on how many ships you think participated in the battle. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, give it a like, consider supporting the channel on Patreon, and of course follow me on Twitter and join the Discord. Till next time guys, this has been Eckhart's Ladder, may the force be with you.